In this exercise, we will add the existing hardscape to the backyard. The offset extend trim P line arc spline spline edit and hatch commands will help in creating the brick and flagstone walkways, siding, and pond. I'll begin by opening up the concrete drawing that I created previously, and then I'll add the reference geometry for creating the brick walkway, siding, and flagstone. I want to make sure to have the grid display and the object snap and the object snap tracking on at the status bar as well as the running object snaps endpoint intersection and extension. Using the line command I'm gonna zoom in on my backyard area and with the extension option I'm gonna draw a line that extends 13 feet 2 inches down and that will be my reference point for my walkway. Uh, I will use the offset command to produce the reference point for the bottom of the brick walkway here. I'll offset by a distance of 15 feet 3 inches from the bottom uh, property boundary and then I'll new, do another offset of 29 feet 3 inches using this west side boundary. Now I can use a three-point arc to create the beginning of this walkway. There's my first, second, and third points. And then again I can offset that walkway by four feet. And I'll do a little bit of uh, trimming and deleting. TR, enter, enter will allow me to delete some of this geometry that I use. Items that I can't delete, I can, or that I can't trim, I can simply delete. And there's a little portion up there as well. The section of the walkway here is 2 feet 8 inches, so again I'm going to use my offset command, but First, I will need to explode my concrete boundary so that I can offset, in this case, by a distance of uh, 2 feet 8 inches. This particular portion of the brickwork is 16 feet feet 3 inches long. So using my extension object snap tracking I'll type in 16 feet 3 and then I'll come straight down. In this case I'm going to go shift right click and select the perpendicular object snap. Here again I can trim up some of the portions that I don't need. and that allows me to finish up this brick portion of the walkway. I'll wait to hatch it until the very end. The siding, one portion of it begins here and I'll use my extension uh, object snap to draw the first part of it. I'll then offset it by 8 inches in this direction and another uh, another trim while I'm at it so I don't forget. The flagstone walkway is three feet wide and I'm given some reference points for that also. Uh, it will be helpful to offset 13 feet 11 inches from the side boundary and then I'll want to come down 13 feet 
7 inches from this bottom portion of the concrete slab. And that intersection point there is where my flagstone walkway ends. I'll go into the polyline command and I'll begin this walkway nine feet from the corner using the uh, extension object snap tracking method. I'll type in nine feet, make sure I'm still tracking, hit enter, and that would be my beginning point. Let me do that one more one more time here. I'm in the arc command. I want to go nine, or rather the polyline command, nine feet, enter, and then I'll type in A for arc. Now it doesn't head in the right direction, so I'll type in D for the direction. I want the direction to be perpendicular to that concrete, so I'll click here, and then I'll finish it up by selecting the intersection point there. I'm done with these uh, reference geometry lines, so I'll delete them, and then I'll offset a distance of three feet to finish this flagstone walkway. I can put that line in there. There's also a siding piece that connects these uh, two arced walkways. It's eight inches thick. And in this case, I'm also going to use the polyline arc option. My first point will be that very first reference line. I'm going to uh, type in A for arc, and again I'll need to go uh, D for direction. It also begins perpendicular to the walkway in this direction, and then I'll end it at this point here. I can trim that line up, and I can also offset it by 8 inches. Do another little trim there. And now I'm ready to create the pond and the flagstone area surrounding the pond. To do the pond, I'm going to use my spline command, which is on the draw panel, or you can type in spline. I'll uh, zoom in on this pond area a bit. Begins here. Uh, in this case, I want to turn, you might want to turn off your O snap at a certain point to help control that. The more control points you have, the more control you have. Uh, I just want to get the general shape of this pond. And it's really up to us exactly how we want it to turn off, turn out. I'll finish it up right here. So that's the walkway. For the pond itself, I'll also use that spline command. And this kind of has a unique shape to it. You can feel free to customize a bit. those clicks. If you don't get everything uh, perfectly, you can use grips to stretch around and, and make it fit uh, the way you want there. Make sure you have your O snaps off, otherwise you might get into trouble. If you don't have enough uh, grips or vertices to manipulate the the uh, spline the way you want. You can do a spline edit. Do a, sp a spline edit. S-P-L-I-N-E-D-I-T. Spline edit. Select the spline that you want to edit. It'll show the vertices. And if you want to add more um, vertices, you can type in E, enter, and then A, enter, to add another vertice. 
And now wherever I click, I'm adding a vertice there. You want to be careful not to add too many, and when you're done, you can hit Enter, Enter, Enter to exit the spline edit. Now, when I go in to select that sp spline, I have more vertices to work with and thus more control. The advantage is, of course, more vertices is more control. The disadvantage is that every time you go to move it now, you have to work with quite a few more vertices. After I've adjusted those to be where I want, I can hatch the pond using the hatch command, which is also on the draw panel. I'm going to uh, begin by looking for the hatch pattern called gravel and I'll select inside of my my flagstone area here. It looks pretty good. The scale is a little off. I'll change that to 25. That looks better. While I'm at it, I'll also hatch that walkway. I'll hit uh, close or enter to finalize that hatch. To do the pond portion, there's a special gradient option in hatch. And I'll click in the hatch area. I can change the colors to look like a pond. I'll choose blue and cyan, cyan for the two colors. And then you can choose which option you like there. That looks good. I'll hit enter to accept. Finally, I can come back and finish up my brick walkway here with the hatch pattern. I'm going to delete that reference geometry first. Uh, here I'll be looking for the brick hatch. Whoops, defaulted to the gradient. Let me undo that. I'm going to be looking for the brick hatch pattern, so let me come down and see if I can find that. There's the brick. Click in the brick area. In this case, I want to give it a, uh, a scale of about oh, 21. And I also want to rotate it to make it align a little better. So let me try, let me try making this um, about 350, uh, maybe 352. Just trying to get it to line up a little bit better. There's 345. That looks pretty good. Let me hit enter to accept that. So there's my brick hatch. And I've completed the hardscape for my backyard.